Kingdom Pattern Testimony of our belonging to Christ What is testimony? Testimony is a solemn attestation as to the truth of a matter. Therefore someone's testimony is a statement that they make about what they saw someone does, or what they know of a situation. Every time you tell your story which your testimony about the grace of God in your life, you give honor and glory to God, and God is pleased with that. Your story no matter how amazing or general it is, it is your eyewitness account of the grace of God upon you, delivering you from sin and death through Christ, and transformed your life as a result. It is a story about God's character. Let your life be an eyewitness accounts. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 3 For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshy tables of the heart. Even without you saying anything verbally, you are sharing your testimony by what you do and the way you live. People are watching the way you live each day. They observe how you respond to difficulty and hard times, and that speaks clearly to all who are taking note of what you do. People are aware and cognizant about you actions that reveal that you love God and want to be His hands and feet on earth, and as a result your life is sending a message to all those around you. Be ready to give an answer. 1 Peter 3 verse 15 But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Giving an answer is talking about how you speak or testify of Jesus. Therefore how you live is also to testify of our Savior Jesus Christ. God through this scripture is telling us to speak with meekness and fear. James 3 verse 17 But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be int rated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality, and without hypocrisy. Testify about Christ. Live your life in such a way that your time, talents, treasures, and testimony is given unto Christ. Telling about who Jesus Christ is, and what Jesus Christ has done for you and humanity at large. Let your thoughts, words, and actions be a powerful testimony for Jesus. Follow the examples of the early church in their testifying about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Acts 4 verse 33 And with great power the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 12 For our boasting is this, the testimony of our conscience that we conducted ourselves in the world in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom but by the grace of God, and more abundantly toward you. Keeping your testimony clean. 1 Peter 2 verse 12. Keep your conduct among the Gentiles honorable, so that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. Proverbs 4 verse 23. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Ephesians 4 verse 29. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. God asks you to make him proud. Make God proud by your conduct, and the testimony of Jesus Christ by the way you live your life. Remember you are the mirror through whom God wants his character and glory to be reflected. Proverbs 27 verse 11 My son, be wise, and make my heart glad, that I may answer him that reproach at me. The Good News The Gospel in a Nutshell Human inherited sin and sinful nature as a result of the sinful disobedience of the first human, Adam and Eve, and the punishment for sin is death, i.e. separation from God, the source of life, Romans 3.23, we cannot earn our salvation, for this reason Jesus Christ came into the world fully God and fully man. He perfectly obeyed God's law and perfectly fulfilled God's will. He died in our place and as our substitute, paying for our sins. He rose from the dead on the third day and ascended into heaven. He will one day return to the earth to establish his kingdom. Remember, 
Jesus is coming soon. Be the first to know when new video is published. Please subscribe and click the notification bell, beside the subscribe button to be notified of new releases. Kingdom Pattern at www.youtube.com Crossway Christian Ministries 2 at gmail.com This is Kingdom Pattern, a ministry of Crossway Christian Ministries.